Okay, this is on the Shelly job, number 53761, installed on 819. Okay, so what we're doing is, um, where this fireplace is, we are going to install a new furnace, um, just right here. Um, so looking at the front of it, furnace will sit on a 90, and another 90 here with an end cap. We'll have this lined with turning vanes, and uh, Actually, only put turning vanes in this one, not this one. So we're going to have a filter grill right here. Um, so we have a furnace, and then just a straight piece of duct with an end cap. So we're going to have three vents off here. Um, just to get the air out, we need to make them bigger. So they're going to be 6 by 12s. Um, so just off the side here, we're going to have a starting collar and a piece of duct to a six by 12, um, register. And that's for this bedroom. I plan for him to, it'll come all the way up 12 inches from this corner and that'll give him uh, his four inches for the wall in front of the plug for the power and we just have to put a wall right there 20 by 20 filter grill on it um okay then that's a 10 by 12 then off this side we're gonna have to do a eight inch side takeoff and behind it come over here and then 90 and go through this wall <clears throat> and see this you're just gonna have to cut and header this wall here um and put a six by 12 boot into this bedroom area nothing in the bathroom um in the kitchen here we will take a run off the side and I made this a bit different, 12 by 12 to 6 by 12. It's gonna, the front's gonna come up six inches. So your one inch out is gonna be one inch in from this front. But I marked it on the wall where I intended it to be here. The reason I did that, the offset is because there's a gas line going up right here, that gas line goes up and then they have a, a stud right there so I should be right next to the stud on this side okay um, so that's it on the three heat vents on the return okay combustion air so we're just gonna take a six inch dryer vent aluminum dryer vent and put screen in it take the flapper out and run six inch pipe over um, and a 90 down into the room um, the vent so this B vent we're gonna cut it up here and we're gonna run four inch B vent up through the roof on the roof I gave you a six inch drip cap um, so you can, if you want to take that off and go through the six inch aluminum drip cap, that's fine. Or go through the cap that's there, whatever you prefer. Um, I give you five footer and a two footer and you're going to have to offset over to the furnace. I think I gave you enough parts to do what you need to there. Um, so the gas, so... From the 90, you're going to add a 2 inch, a new gas caulk, and a um, 2 inch and a T with a drip leg, and a flex into the furnace like normal. So, this is a pain, so I'm kind of guessing on 
what those measurements are. <laughs> Hopefully they're the same as we normally use a paint furnace that is. Okay, so number four, there's no air conditioning. Five, so thermostat, you're gonna add the LuxPro thermostat. So just go up with the wire and go through the joist space and um, down inside the wall and I have a stat right here. Um, if you can't get it there, put it wherever you guys decide. The power, so the power's right here. <clears throat> um, he has a switch box and a cover right there, but I figure we'll put a a two by two by four flat cover plate there and drill a unibit hole for round so our flex will come out and then we'll just mount the power on the furnace like we normally do. Okay. Um, that's about it.